Good afternoon, good um, good morning for some of you, good evening, depending on where you're calling from. Welcome to Bennett Mercado Hospitality's webinar featuring Nayara Gardens and Nayara Tented Camp in the Arianal region of Costa Rica. And we have with us Ivanova, my friend Ivanova, she's waving, she's in one of those tents. So we're gonna get a little sneak, sneak peek um, at the end of this webinar, but isn't that a great view? <laughs> Before I turn it over to Ivanova, I would like to just, you know, say, you know, introduce myself as well as Ivanova, but I'm Maggie Abdella with Bennett Mercado Hospitality. I'm the Director of Sales for the Eastern United States. With all that, I'm going to say welcome, Ivanova. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Maggie. Uh, I really appreciate all of you guys joining us in this great masterclass of Nayara Gardens and Nayara Tented Camp. As Maggie says, uh, we are putting these two properties together because they are in Costa Rica. They are the two family-friendly hotels we have in Arenal, right in front of the volcano. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do a quick review of these properties, a quick tour of one of our family tented rooms. So uh, let's just start. I don't want to take you so much of your time. <laughs> Just and many of you probably screen. have been in touch with Ivanova via email. So I would like to say that it's a name of the face. She's an integral yeah. part of the sales team um, there on property. So um, you may recognize her name from correspondence you've had with her. Yeah. Yes, I am on property. So anything, please just let me know. It's very easy for me. If you need a picture, or if you need some special amenity for some of your VIP clients, just let me know. I am just right here. Um, so just uh, to start with uh, the presentation, um, just let me try to put the next one. Is there moving, Maggie? You see? Okay, Not yet. There, you there go. it goes. Yep. Okay. Okay. So uh, just like a quick review of our timeline of the properties that have joined our uh, group of hotels. Uh, the first one was Nayara Gardens, this family-friendly property opening in 2007, then Nayara Springs in 2014 for the adults-only section at Nayara uh, in Costa Rica. And then recently in 2019, Nayara tentative and open to just complete like a uh, area where we can welcome families. Then Nayara Alto Atacama and Nayara Angaroa in Chile both are uh, were welcomed into the group in 2020. And then recently too, in Panama, Nayara Bocas del Toro, that we are so excited to have something in the ocean in front of the Caribbean uh, water. Um, so just flying to Costa Rica, um, maybe some of you, uh, I know that we are in the north of the country right here where we have this little sign. Um, it's very easy to get here. I mean, it's a long drive. They prefer the ground transportation. It's been two and a half hours drive, but it's a very nice uh, scenic from Liberia. There's around the lake or from San Jose. They have also the option to come by ground transportation with our own services. So that's nice because we can guarantee that since they um, land into the country, we will take care of all the details, even during the transportation. Our drivers are more like a, a guide or experts where they can stop and show different animals on the road or stop to, to learn more about our country. Um, we are also uh, available to, to offer transportation to different hotels. If they're going to the Caribbean side, Pacific, Manuel Antonio, there are different distances. So please feel free to reach out our concierge team to uh, help you with this itinerary of transportation too. Um, I really like this aerial view just to show you how close is Nayara Gardens to Nayara Tented Camp. Um, sometimes one of the most popular questions we have is about the distance in between the properties. Um, so this is just right here. So Nayara Gardens is this area you can see with uh, octagonal shape rooms and the tents are right here. So there is a short walk of seven minutes that connects both properties. Um, and if the guests are staying in these hotels, the family friendly hotels, and they want to go to Nayara Springs, there is also a short walk. The only restriction we have at Nayara Springs is that there is an adults only hotel for people over 17 years old. So even if they want to use the facilities, they must be over 17. Uh, but then everything is walkable. Of course, we also have Bellman's 24 seven, so they can take these little golf carts and have a, a ride uh, by golf cart. 
Um, starting with Nayara Gardens, uh, we have two beautiful uh, room categories. These are Casitas Deluxe. We have 29 casitas with king beds or two queen beds, um, balconies with jacuzzi, indoor shower, outdoor shower. So even this entry level room has all the um, amenities and, and facility for of a uh, high-end uh, room category, of course. Um, something that I want to share with you that is a brand new actually is this great news about Nayara Gardens and specifically for the casitas. We are renovating these rooms this year. Of course, they're gonna be with the same sense of Nayara Gardens, family friendly too, but we will do some more modern touches, uh, colors, and we will keep you, of course, updated about these and send you pictures as soon as we have all that ready. Uh, just if, if you are wondering where is this happening or when is this happening, uh, it will be from June to November. So there is no noise that will avoid the, the clients since we are closing this area. Uh, so we don't gonna use not even the rooms are around in order to avoid any kind of um, issues or complaints. Then the next room is the Rainforest Pool Villa. These are 21 units. All of them are with a king size bed. Uh, we can add a day bed for a kid, I mean, a rollaway bed for a kid under 12. So small families are welcome in this room category. Uh, all these rooms now are with plunge pools uh, fit with, uh, of course, uh, Thermal water, I mean, it's temperate water, um, indoor showers or double indoor showers and double outdoor showers. And this beautiful plunge pool makes the experience more like immersed in the forest where the pool is completely surrounded by our garden. And some of the rooms are with partial volcano view um, for those that have booked, I mean, Nayara before, I know that we do not guarantee the volcano view, but feel free to. Uh, make this kind of request uh, before the client's arrival. So we will try to assign one of these rooms. Uh, our property has a very unregular topography. So some rooms are more like immersed in the forest, very surrounded by all these beautiful gardens and lush. And some other rooms are more high in this same uh, area. So are in a higher level with volcano view. Um, so this is how they look inside. As you can see, it's a beautiful king bed and we can add the, date, add the roll away right there too. Um, Nayara, of course, also offer a great variety of culinary experiences. This is just one of the first options. This is the main restaurant. The name is La Terraza. La Terraza offers um, international and Costa Rican uh, dishes. Uh, it's, it's a great experience because they can actually see the volcano, how you can see it here in these pictures. It's a beautiful restaurant, very fresh, open, lunches are great. Um, then other options is the wine bar. In these wine bars, um, in wine bar, we have two different menus. There's a wine pairing, six course dinner with different wines from different areas, uh, Latin America, from Europe, from US. So it's a very nice culinary experience, but the guests can also come to these machines and serve themselves, uh, have a glass of wine or just a taste. So it's pretty fun. And uh, we have a sommelier there all the time so they can talk about different options of the wines and try them uh, without, you know, the, the, the thing to, that they need to buy the full bottle to try all these wines. They can just have a taste and that is a nice car where they can um, use in, in, the, in the wine bar and we charge that to their rooms. Um, so I highly recommend this experience actually. Then I were recently renovated also a Luna restaurant. It's more like a, a minimalism style with very, Asian touches, of course, the menu is 100% Asian with a fusion of uh, Latin American dishes and our ingredients, but we have very fresh here, plantains and all the fish that we have in Costa Rica. Um, so it, it's a highly recommended dinner there too, and the families love it. So uh, for um, any guests, I highly I highly recommend the dinner reservations in advance um, since our restaurants can be very busy uh, during the year. So going to Nayara Springs, just to mention a couple of places where the guests can uh, enjoy dinners or just the pools, the bars there. 
Um, in IRS Springs, how I've said, it's adults only, so they are welcome to enjoy these kind of dinners. In Amor Loco, it's a fine dining experience with live music every night here inside and outside is more like open and fresh by the pool. Um, if they are traveling with kids, we have babysitters so they can um, book like this kind of uh, service in advance at least 24 hours before. So they, they, the parents could have the access to these kind of dinners uh, without, you know, the kids. The kids could be on the rooms having fun with a, a babysitter or doing some activities uh, like a frog watching around the property with one of the guides as well. So we can keep them busy while, while the parents are enjoying these kind of facilities at Niagara Springs. Uh, this is the other option, Mis Amores. Uh, it's kind of uh, Latin, I mean, Italian restaurant with fresh focaccias and pizzas. Maggie just went there here with us in, in for lunch and dinner uh, some months ago. And she can explain you and tell you also how good are our, our culinary experiences here in Food and beverage era. is above and beyond. Like yeah. <laughs> you have a different experience for lunch and dinner. There's so many options on all three properties that you feel like you actually have on around the country. It's really phenomenal. Yes. Excellent yes. meal. And sometimes it's, it's unexpected for some uh, people to have all this variety of options in just one place, in just one basically hotel or three small hotels with all this variety of uh, experiences. Um, so it is nice and they, they don't need to be worried to come to the rainforest and eat the same dish every night and have the right. same menu you're not every cut day. Off. You're not cut off from, um, you know, the fine dining experience, but you're also, it doesn't feel overly crowded either. That's what the beauty of it. Right. There's yeah. enough property and variety that not everybody's eating at the same place. Um, right. So you don't feel like even when the resorts are full, you don't feel like it's crowded. It's amazing. It's it's yes. very, very special. Yes. Yes. All the guests are spread out. So everybody's enjoying their time. Not everybody on the same pool or the same restaurant. Exactly. Uh, at the same time. Yes. And part of those experiences also are this area, which is one of my favorites, the cafecito. Espresso bar. Mi cafecito is more, I like to say that it's like a Costa Rican corner where uh, our guests can enjoy the Costa Rican coffee at great, great beans. Um, so they can learn how to prefer their own coffee or just show up, enjoy a cup of coffee, read, play something there like a, um, you know, Jenga or something like that, like Uno. So they can have fun while they are just waiting for a pickup tour. Uh, or if it's raining, they can come down and have the coffee class which is great because you know we're not in always very expected uh, to have expected to have rain uh, all year long. So uh, that's about Nayara Gardens and a quick things about Nayara Springs, and then we are going now to Nayara Temple Camp. Um, I'm very happy that we have now uh, 29 tents. We used to have only 21, so now we have more rooms available. There are 29 beautiful tents with King Bed and two Davids. Um, the tents are family friendly, of course, so we could have up to four people in each room. Um, these tents are with indoor showers, outdoor showers, and we have six pair of units that are interconnected like this. So for those families or couples that are traveling together, but they don't want to share everything, they don't have to be in the same room, in the same unit all the time, they could have these interconnecting options where each room has its own pool, exactly the same configuration, but they're just interconnected. And it's still private because there is some space in between the rooms. So there is no noise, it's really quiet and um, very peaceful, of course. So as you can see, it's a tent. Actually, it feels like a tent, it looks like a tent, but it has AC, high speed internet connection, international phone calls. So uh, it's, it's a great, great uh, tent to be uh, in the rainforest. And then the next room category is the family tent. And so we have parents traveling with kids and you don't want to be uh, separate in two completely different rooms. Now we have these six units with a king bed, day bed, and then two queen beds in another unit just next to the main one. This is no, there is no pool. 
So it's completely safe for the kids. And if they want to enjoy the pool, they just uh, walk a little bit to the parents' room and they enjoy the balcony and the pool with the, with the parents. So it's completely safe too. Um, how is it? This is for up to six people. Uh, there are six units. Something about this specific room category um, that is different from Nayara uh, tents or regular tents is that these rooms are basically with forest view. Uh, I don't I don't want to uh, just think that all rooms are with volcano view since these are up in a hill, but this specific room category is without volcano view. Basically, is more like a rainforest or gardens view, which is private, of course, um, and beautiful uh, at the end. So the units are like this. So here is the main room, and just right next to the main area, there is a second tent with the two queen beds like this. It's like the kids' room. It's still course beautiful with the same feeling the same style of the other tents and then one of the most exciting things about Nayara tent to come now is that we have private residences we have two casas um, our casas are Dana and Paloma those are the names and these are for up to 12 so now that you know the configuration of the family tents let's say that these are two family tents so here is one for up to six and here's another one in two different levels. Like the main one is over here and then the other one with two queen beds is down here. So up to 12 people can stay in this whole like residence. And the main area, there is a kitchen, fire pit. Uh, let me show you this. It's a full uh, exit kitchen that we can pre-stock if they want. Uh, the balcony right in front of the volcano since both of our private residences are in one of the higher levels in the property. So there has very nice volcano view and open volcano view. Um, so in the total for these units for 12 people, but let me show you this. This is like the uh, floor plan. So here is a family tent. There is another one. And this is the main area with the kitchen and all that. Uh, during low season, let's say between May through October, we are uh, open or we are able to sell them separately. You can sell this like a family tent. So just that, like a regular family tent. And then this like a uh, re partial residence uh, or a tented suite. So these rooms are with the king, I mean, with the kitchen, and then with the king bed over here and the two queens. So this is for six people. And this area will be available for these guests are staying over here at the right side. Um, that's a nice option for a family of up to six. I want to have the, the own area for, for the breakfast or for a private dinner. Uh, it, this is great, great option for kosher guests that uh, have special uh, needs or if, if they need something very specific, they we can handle that and we can do something nice for them in this kind of private residences or to the partial house. Um, this is the brand new reception of Nayara Tented Camp. Uh, it's a beautiful area. I love it because it's right in front of the volcano too, of course. Uh, and this is the restaurant. There is a new restaurant, which is um, kind of Mediterranean. It's more like a Eastern Mediterranean uh, option. Our chef is from Israel, uh, so it's a wonderful menu. And this bar here is from is Henry's Bar, where we have rum classes, uh, something Costa Rican too. We have rum here in Costa Rica, so we do that class. That makes it feel more like a, like another, not just coffee in Costa Rica. It's more like a rum tasting. Uh, they can do cocktails and learn a lot too. This is the area that I just mentioned. This is the restaurant over here, up here, and there is the lobby as well. And this main pool is uh, right there with a bar too. And then this bridge is, is nice because this bridge connects some of the trails in Nayara Tinted Camp to the main area. So Nayara, especially Nayara Tinted Camp, is not just about how beautiful are the rooms, how beautiful is the area, but also about this connection uh, with the rainforest, with the nature, how we are taking care of all the wildlife we have around, how many pla uh, 
trees we're planting or we have been planting for about 13 years. So we are very proud about that and we'd like to give the to the guests this kind of access to the experience. So a suspended bridge in the property for them to enjoy the view of the rainforest and have this connection on property. It's not necessarily like a tour. These are the hot springs, our 100% natural hot springs from the volcano with a lot of minerals. Uh, the water is about 100 Fahrenheit, so it's pretty hot and warm, um, which is very relaxing. Even if they have, each tent have their own plunge pool fed with natural hot springs, these kind of areas are open and available only for the guests that are staying with us. Um, so are completely private and quiet all the time, but they like to, you know, walk around and enjoy the hot springs and explore, find plots somewhere. Um, we have like a sanctuary where uh, we have been planting trees, how I said, for many years. Cecropias is the, the favorite tree uh, where actually the sloths eat and, and live. So they are coming naturally to the property uh, because we have been planting these trees for, for a long time. Uh, so now they are here in property and the guests can explore and find them. We don't touch them or feed them, but we are doing the reforestation. So they are coming back to this area that used to be a cotton farm uh, about 15 years ago. And then uh, I just want to mention a couple of uh, the culinary experiences just to conflict like the, the kind of uh, offers that we have on property. So there is Costa Rica cooking class, mixology, the wine pairing, the romantic dinners, private romantic dinners actually with this beautiful decoration. So if you have a couple uh, getting engaged or just a couple traveling uh, for something special, they can do something like that. And the coffee class uh, that I have mentioned too. And something that not all the properties offers, but is something that we are very proud about is our own uh, team of guides. We have a great team of guides on property. They are our, part of our family, our staff. Um, they, they can take our guests directly from the hotel to the hanging bridges, to the volcano. And we can guarantee that if they are booking these excursions through us, um, they will have the same level of service inside of the property and outside. Uh, as well, of course, these tours are available with our concierge service, which is exactly the same thing that helps you, helps you to make the reservations. So you don't need to contact anybody else. It's just the same team for all properties. So it's very easy. Um, just, just to let you know, we does not offer this for Nayara in Costa Rica. This is also available for Nayara Chile and Panama, where happy to help you with anything uh, you might need or your clients needs to complete the experience um, with us. Uh, well, saying that, I, I'm before going to the questions or I don't know if you have comments or any questions. So just let me share my screen very quick uh, to show you our uh, room. Just let me start presenting that. Let me check if I can do it from my phone. Um, even Eva, why don't you turn off the share the screen? Yeah. Perfect. And then perfect. And something I want, um, she, you'll see when she does a little tour of this room that um, I don't know if you already have the, um, okay, it's coming. No, that's a different one. Sorry. Go ahead. It's okay. I love that you're going to give us a quick um, look at the rooms because they're awesome. I, yeah. Like even Ova said, I was just there in October and I'm, I have to say the tents are, they're huge. First of all, they don't, I mean, the pictures, I don't even give it just give it justice because they're, they're huge. So for four people, it's a huge bathroom, huge shower, huge closet. Um, the view to wake up that way, you look out over the volcano is just stunning to, to open the blind, you know, the shades first thing in the morning and um, have that view is stunning. So Let's, I'm going to turn off this, her other camera. Because. Yep. Okay. And, and I'm going to pin this one. There we go. Okay. So this is the king bed. And then right. she's going to, so, and it has netting um, for bugs. Um, so you can close it at night and they do for the turn down, pull them down, which is nice. 
um, over to the corner, that is actually your um, mini bar with your um, coffee maker and all the beverages. And then this is the bathroom, tub, double sinks. Just, it's an enormous amount of space. And it's a, a real tent. The walls are a tent, but they were, um, the owner, Leo, actually um, flew in the architect for the Serengeti um, to Costa Rica. And he's actually there. He was there when um, I, I visited as well because he's constantly making improvements. See, that's the mini bar. It's stunning. So you can have your Costa Rican coffee in the morning. Um, the room service will come in and um, set up your breakfast in the morning right there on the deck for you so you can enjoy it, the privacy with the view. Um, and something that kind of gets overlooked is the plunge pools, because they're fed by natural mineral springs, you don't have any of the chlorine. There's, it's so, your hair and your skin, I mean, you can take a plunge for every, you know, before before breakfast, after breakfast, before lunch, after lunch, it's, it's just so relaxing the view. So this is the family tent. So it's connecting, she's gonna show you how it connects, connects to the next room. So an easy walk. Right. Can you hear me? I can hear you, go ahead. Okay, so yeah, this is the area that connects, but I mean, five meters long walk to the other room, the kids room with the two queen beds. So as you can see, it's, Precious, it's nice. They have their mm -hmm. own bathroom too. We open this right here, so they will be have privacy here as well. And I think it's going to be very happy kids as well. <laughs> yeah, they'd be. I don't know a kid that would not think this was amazing. But see, the walls are actual. Um, open store. But it was retrofitted for the rainforest because let's face it. It, it does rain in Costa Rica at, I mean, not long, but it will rain, but that way the water doesn't come in, but you get, you get the sense and the feel of um, a luxury tent. It's a wonderful, wonderful experience. It's very relaxing, very rejuvenating. Stunning views. I daydream with my pictures from my, um, my trip. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> Okay, so Ivanova, I actually, um, thank you so much for showing us. Um, I, I changed your video over. So if you'll just start the, there you go. I'm gonna read, one of the questions we had was, um, you mentioned there the special trees that attract the, um, um, sorry, I'm totally, the sloths. The sloths, <laughs> Tony. yeah. <laughs> what was the name of the tree? And advisor's um, asking. In Spanish or in Costa Rica, we call them guarumo. Okay. So that's Costa Rican name, but it's cecropia. Okay. Cecropia, yes. Okay, so- um, I can write the, it down. Yeah, well, like maybe write it in the chat name. real quick. So, yeah, write it in the <laughs> chat. So yeah. um, the what, um, even Ova definitely touched on this and which I what I love is um, that the, um, hold on one second, that, the staff, the concierge staff, the guides are always on property. So when they spot Tony, who's the famous sloth or any of the other sloths, they'll bring guests over, which is so, it's a highlight. Cause I, I remember um, even the bellman, I was arriving and he said, oh, there's Tony. And we stopped, we were on the way to the room and got out and like, you know, took pictures. I mean, it was, it's, it's thrilling. It's fun. The monk, I think you have a family of monkeys that have recently uh, um, yes, actually, we have, uh, I saw three of them very close to the parking lot. So they are now jumping from one side to the property to the other very quick. So it's it's pretty fun. It's yeah, nice I because I... I have been here for eight years now. And I I didn't see monkeys in about my first five years here, six years. So the monkeys on property are very recently because of all this reforestation uh, and there's lots of course they're coming to. Right, right. Well, it, it, you learn so much and it's so fascinating. And um, Nayara does a great job of giving um, guests when they check in a schedule of any of the, you know, frog um, tour or, um, you know, at night. Um, you, there's so many different bird watching activities that are completely complimentary and part of 
but you can, you know, the kids can do stuff, um, which is, re it's really fun. You can have your own adventure on property, even if you want to stay on property. Right. Yes. So even over, um, another question, um, is there, is there kids program or do the parents stay with the kids? Well, we don't have a kids program per se, because the idea is uh, for the parents and the kids to learn about, you know, the culture, the nature and everything that we have around. Of course, we have some specific activities where small kids are welcome for, for the parents to actually also enjoy something uh, with the kids. Um, and actually now during the Shaquem process, we offer them this list of activities uh, that we have every day so they can just say, okay, I want to join tonight the frog watching and explore with my kids around. Um, yeah, the parents could do something by themselves and the kids could go with one of the guides to explore this area. But the idea at the end is for everybody to learn um, about what we have over here. It's not like a, a kid's club where you drop them no. off from eight to four. No. Correct. I think that's what that's she's trying to clarify. Idea. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Um, so as far as dining, um, what restaurants um, are kid friendly? From that well, you mentioned and which are the or maybe just narrow it down which two are just adult only and that's yes. um amor loco amor loco and mis amores 100 percent adults only mm -hmm. then at nayara gardens we have la terraza which is costa rican and the asian restaurant are family friendly um even nostalgia the wine bar is at nayara gardens and we don't have a you know a strict restriction there but of course it's a wine bar, so you, if you are going with teenagers, could be okay, but for kids, maybe it's not that yeah, fun. Exactly, exactly. Very good. Um, and that's why we brought up, kind of group these together, um, and I think you have some options for parents that maybe are traveling for several days with their kids, you know, to get a, a dinner, a, an adult-only dinner, that's an option with the babysitting. So I think I right. it's, it's a really, um, it's easy to flow between the properties, um, especially um, there's two spas. There's a spa in um, Nayarta Gardens yeah. as well as Nayarta Springs. Oh, uh, thanks for, for mentioning the spa actually, because right now we are just finishing or in process to finish our spa at Nayarta Tented Camp too, that we're gonna be ready in March. Uh, so we are very happy that we will have five uh, bungalows there for Nayarta Tented Camp and their own yoga class as well. So they will have even more options. I know. And it gives you a lot of options and freedom to kind of come and go. Um, something else that always is a question is how many days or the, how, what's the most common minimum night stay? Uh, well, the average stay that we, that we actually also recommend is at least four nights. Mm -hmm. um, we have seen the, the map and you see how far we are close we are from the airports or from other areas in Costa Rica like the Pacific coast so we recommend at least two full days to enjoy beautiful hotel because they are staying in a beautiful area mm -hmm. but also the activities outside at an Alice, a great destination is like the heart of the adventure in Costa Rica so it's important at least two full days to enjoy this Mm -hmm. your breeders, then in the afternoon a spa and a special dinner and then the next day something like that too um so four days for in for any of our properties is, is ideal i agree and i think that um clients that do only stay two nights regret it and that's what we've they heard do. is that yes. i didn't get to enjoy my room i didn't get to enjoy my own lunch pool i didn't get to enjoy yeah. my surroundings because it is very relaxing yes. um just even the surroundings and you can just kind of you know it's it's the very special slice yeah. of paradise, honestly. I've seen also many times that they come with itineraries from one activity <laughs> in the morning, then the next one right next to that one, and they're so busy. At the end, they they just and canceling something because they said, no, this is too beautiful to be outside. <laughs> I know, day. I know. I need to I, enjoy the property too. Yes. I agree. So keep, I agree. Keep well, that in mind. <laughs> it, no, I, I, and I, that's why I bring, always bring it up because I know um, a lot of um, guests like to, to pair it with the coast, whether it's the Caribbean coast um, or the other um, side of that, the country, but you just need to keep that in mind because Nayar really is something special and it's, it really um it was it's a very very i keep saying it is a very 
a special slice of paradise. It's beautiful, beautiful there. Um, if we don't have any other questions, um, Ivanova, thank you so much. I hope giving the little preview of the tent gives um, everyone a, a kind of an idea. It's kind of hard to visualize, but then when they see it, it really is, it's a unique and um, experience in the middle of the jungle. Yes, it is. And any video or anything you need, please just let us know. Uh, as I said, I am a property, so it's very easy to just to send you a quick video just to close that cell and say, yes, this is the right room. This is what you need. So Excellent. And I, and I will um, include um, a, a link to the recording for all of you that attended as well as those that registered. So pass that along if you have a a colleague that maybe missed it today um, and um, give us a couple of days. It usually takes a little bit for it to populate and for us to get it uploaded. But um, in addition, I will and I include Ivanova's direct contact information so that she can um, assist you. And it's always good to have that person on property that you've, you know, yes. met um, just to know, um, to ask, you know, specific questions, especially as guests come. Well, Ivanova, thank you so much. Thank you for the thank beautiful you. view and I have, I'm daydreaming again about being back in Costa Rica and I can't wait to go back again. You're welcome. No problem. It's a pleasure. Thank you everybody for joining this masterclass. See you next week yes. for Nayara Springs and Nayara Bocas del Toro in Panama. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.